very early on in Naruto, one of the very first things that was taught to us as fans is that a ninja must learn to see past deception. It was a lesson that was hammered home on numerous times and numerous occasions into our skulls in part one of the Naruto franchise. Well, currently in Boruto Naruto Next Generations, with Sasuke and Sakura outside of Konoha, deep into the country of Radaku, a land where the Sage of Six Past once lived, we're actually seeing firsthand why this is so important, which makes a lot of sense. Think about it, if Ganin, who are just being introduced to this concept, have to be warned about deception before they go on D and C rank missions, then what do you think could happen to a seasoned ninja like Sasuke and Sakura, who are on an S rank mission of the utmost importance, finding a cure for the chakra illness that once befell the Sage of Six Paths and now is currently destroying Naruto's health. Getting right into it, after Sasuke and Sakura began combing through the prison that both of them are working undercover at, they quickly learned that all isn't as it seems, which does say a lot. There's a summoning creature that guards the prisoners that was able to push the suppressed Sasuke during that battle, but again, this is a suppressed Sasuke who isn't using some of his most insane jutsu in order to avoid drawing attention to himself, but given how powerful base Sasuke is at this point in the story, it's still really impressive that this creature was able to keep up with him. The director of the institute is on Sasuke's radar, and rightfully so, but because Sasuke's been undercover at this prison for so long, he's overlooked a few small details that have popped up that Sakura catches on to right away because she provides a fresh set of eyes for Sasuke and she isn't falling for just focusing on the director but instead she's looking at everyone in the prison. While they're making their way through the institute, Sakura catches Sasuke off guard by asking him questions about his cellmates and she focuses on one of them in particular. Sakura's suspicions briefly make Sasuke cast a bit of doubt but due to him being so deep undercover, sleeping in the same cell with these individuals and the urgency that he feels to complete his mission, coupled with the fact that the presence of his wife, as I've discussed in a few other videos, Sakura's presence, while critical for the mission, has begun to cloud Sasuke's judgment to a degree. Sasuke, though briefly worried about what Sakura says, pushes the thoughts that he has into the back of his head and doesn't give it any credit to the warning that his wife just gave him. So what I'll do for you guys now is read the passage in question. Then I'll come back to you guys with my thoughts and I'll begin quoting here. Sasuke waited for Gigi and the others to fall asleep. Slipping out of his cell and into the courtyard, he met Sakura in front of the library. Do you have the key? Sasuke asked. Sakura shook the silver key beside her face and nodded. Of course I do. They go down into the basement in search of the map, hoping to find it without any incident. Pushing the brass, rusted door open, they entered into the library. The door closed behind them, encasing them in an absolute darkness of the library that had no source of lighting. The two of them ignited chakra in their palms to see. Relying on that light, they headed towards the back. Hey, Sasuke-kun, Gigi's properly asleep, isn't he? Sakura asked Sasuke. When I left the cell, he was fast asleep. Why do you ask, Sakura? Well, he comes to the medical office so much. Headache, stomach ache, there's always a reason. I never seem to find any abnormalities when I tend to look at him. So I think it's an excuse to skip out on work. I just, I just can't help feeling a little awkward. I can't help feeling a little worried. Yeah, he's faking it. He's so full of energy. As Sasuke said that, he felt a flurry of unusual feeling in his chest. No matter how Gigi tried, he couldn't believe that Sakura was Sasuke's wife. That's what Sasuke wanted to believe, at least. Don't you think it'd be bad if there were insects like me who are always around Sensei? Sasuke could hear Gigi's words echoing along with the disgusting premonition in his head, stopping Sasuke in his tracks. Sasuke-kun, are you okay? Sakura stopped Stops in wonder, Sasuke turned to her silently, grabbing Sakura's finger, touching the base of her ring finger, and working his chakra around. The chakra began to materialize, changing into the grains of sand as it wrapped around her finger, like the rings of Saturn. The sand begins to bind together, changing into a silver color with a grinding sound. The transformation complete. Keep this on. He spoke while pouting. Sasuke released her hand. This is Sakura spread out her fingers, staring at the newly transformed ring that now sat on her finger. The silver of the band was gleaming. A red gem caught Sakura's eye. In the center, a ruby set on its mount. Both of the materials were produced by raising the purity of the substances contained in the soil near their limit. Sasuke seemed to have made this improvised ring with just the craftsmanship and with the skill in earth release. The ring around her finger, the testimony of their 
marriage. End quote. So before I go any further, I just want to kind of point out to you guys, look at the symbolism here. Look at the symbolism. Sasuke thinks about Gigi's words about some type of insect coming around Sakura and his immediate reaction after the fact is to not necessarily look at the worries that his wife has and instead to put a ring on her finger because at this point Sasuke while he knows Sakura isn't going anywhere Sasuke does have some insecurities that are coming out in this novel and the idea of putting a ring on Sakura's finger to let everyone know that that is indeed his wife is something that's really big and really telling and what I really like about this is the fact that you do catch Sakura off guard here that's something that you see there because she wasn't necessarily expecting it like I've talked about when I talked about the wedding ring and I went into detail on how that ring was created now I want to kind of bring you guys attention back to something else because this in itself is key but this is also a really good dissection of Sasuke's character and I want you guys to pay attention to this so in this moment one thing that becomes obvious is that Sakura is suspicious of Sasuke's cellmate Gigi who now knows that Sakura is Sasuke's wife Sasuke upon hearing the suspicions of Sakura doesn't consider the possibility that there's actually more to Gigi like perhaps the fact that he could be a ninja himself or he could have ties to the trouble that's currently befalling Kakashi and his mission elsewhere in the country of Radaku. To Sasuke, Gigi is just another one of the dumb illiterate prisoners who Sasuke referred to as being scum and being the dregs of society. Sasuke's first thoughts were how Gigi asked Sasuke if he ever worries about the fact that someone might creep into Sakura's bedroom one night when he's out on a mission and blow her back out in ways that Sakura never thought possible. He focuses on the surface level of Gigi's words, asking if he ever worries about insects being around Sakura. Like I hinted at in another video, Gigi is a lot smarter than Sasuke gives him credit for. Sasuke, from the moment that he stepped into the prison, carried himself like he was above everyone else there. Gigi picked up on it immediately, and in her short time around Sasuke on this mission, Sakura has also began to pick up on this as well. When Gigi asks Sasuke if he's worried about insects being around his wife, it's less about the fact that Sasuke's worried that someone will give Sakura that almighty left stroke, but instead, it's more about the fact that someone that Sasuke perceives as being an inferior insect could be around his wife, intending to do her harm. Not all insects are the same. Some, if they manage to bite you, can actually kill you, which is what Gigi's words are really implying here. But due to Sasuke's mind state at this time in the story, Gigi's possible threat goes completely over Sasuke's head at this moment. Without giving away too much of the story, I will say that this scene is absolutely critical because it shows even more of what Sakura meant when she said that there are things that she can provide on this mission that Sasuke can't do himself. Also, it also shows that Sasuke's judgment, while very razor sharp focused on saving Naruto, has also caused his observation to be briefly compromised on this mission by missing the possible threat of Gigi and his cellmates. It's not always the danger that's right in your face that you should worry about, but instead it's the one that you don't see coming. Sakura, following her suspicions, shows exactly why she's a student of two former Hokages, being Tsunade as well as Kakashi. And without Sasuke even even realizing it, Sakura has already laid down a contingency plan in the event that her suspicions about Gigi were actually correct. One that in the very end of the day could prove to be key to the future of their mission. So my question to you guys is, what are your thoughts about the fact that husband and wives are on missions together? Do you think that Konoha should adapt a very serious rule like the Jedi from Star Wars where relationships were forbidden outright? Or do you think Konoha should ban family members from being on the same missions together if so tell me why but as always guys if you like anything i had to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching all the way to the end have an awesome day guys